Hey everyone, my name is Ben and I run a used appliance store in Central Ohio. And today I want to talk about how to clean your washer out. We have to refurbish a lot of washers and dryers at our store and clean them. And a lot of times when you think about cleaning a washer, it tends to be on the outside to make it look really pretty. But the truth is, even though your washing machine can get your clothes really clean, it can still be insanely nasty on the inside. And today I wanted to show you how to actually get your washer really clean on the inside without having to spend a whole lot of money on it. Now, when you think of cleaning a washer out, you're going to go on Amazon and find some similar items to this washer cleaner or Whirlpools Afresh, or there's Wash Warrior, Dexter, or other companies like this. And I imagine they work pretty well but they are very expensive. This one came in at a dollar per tablet. The Afresh comes to two or three dollars a tablet and generally you're not going to get away with super cheap prices on these. So what we're going to do by the end is show you a DIY home solution that is very cheap and will work on a ton of washers. I buy my cleaners by the pound, by 20 pounds each. And make sure you watch because we're going to show you how to get the stuff really cheap and it works really well because we're going to tear this machine apart and show you what it looks like from the inside out when we use a good wash cleaner. Now with all of that out of the way, let's go ahead and tear apart the washer so we can see how bad it is untouched on the inside. The washer we are working on is a Kenmore top load washer, is about 15 years old, and the outside plus the basket do look clean, but that isn't what we're really worried about today. I wasn't sure what the best way of going about this video was, but I decided that if I was going to make a video on cleaning a washer, I might as well tear the whole thing apart if we're going to get a good before and after video of what the washer really looked like with the cleaning solution. This is a top load washer, so there may be a different set of takeaways that you'll find from this unit versus a front loader, which isn't too popular here in America. But the cleaning solution as well as the problems are the same. You can already see in some places on the washer that despite its nice exterior, aren't that great on the insides. With the drum out, we can now see what is hiding behind cleaning our clothes. And with what it looks like, it's really a surprise that it would clean anything in this condition. There's plenty of areas with built up garbage on the outer drum. This isn't to mention the inner drum, which initially looked like it had a lot of rust to me, but it turned out to be soap scum built up, which permeated the entire outside of the drum, which just looks terrible. Now with the cleanliness of the washer documented, we're going to put some of the washer back together. One nice thing about an older washing machine like this is that you can easily run them in an extremely stripped down manner. We're only going to put the drum and agitator back in, but little else. We don't need to put the chassis back on because an older unit will allow us to bypass the lid switch to let us watch the machine while we pour our cleaning mixture in and run it. But don't try this at home, it's very dangerous. And here is what the unit looks like before we fill it with water. We're going to jump the lid switch wire safely using a jumper and then set the unit to an express wash. In hindsight, I wish I had ran the unit for longer with the cleaning mixture because I forgot that old washers like this tend to have a much faster wash cycle than newer machines, meaning the mixture doesn't get to stay as long in the washer as I had hoped. Now that we've taken the washer apart and put it back together, you know exactly how bad the inside of this is. We've had much worse washers in our washroom than this one. This one's probably, I would say, average, or maybe a little bit worse, certainly the tub is. So now I wanna show you how we're actually going to clean it. The two items that we use in our washroom is citric acid. We've uh, tried to figure out what the best thing to use is for five years now, and we have found that this is the best. This is on Amazon, it's a 20 pound bag. We use it all the time and we'll usually get about 80 to 100 washers cleaned with this. You don't need to use a lot of it on a regular basis, but since we are having to take machines from the worst possible conditions to the best, we do use quite a bit. And in the case of this machine, we're gonna use a full cup of citric acid. The next thing we're going to use is OxyClean. And this is the dollar store version of OxyClean. I bought this whole tub for about $3, and we're only gonna use a little bit of this, um, maybe about a tablespoon equivalent and see the thing is about the expensive washer tablets that's really all that's in them is a little bit of oxyclean which is oxygenated bleach and then the citric acid sometimes there will be hydrogen peroxide in it and then they will also have um, 
either baking soda or another complementary ingredient to slow the reaction. Citric acid starts to activate as soon as it hits water, so the tablets are use remediation in them to make the reaction go a little bit slower. We can trade that delaying action with just a lot more citric acid because again, this entire bag is $25 on Amazon, which is essentially 24 of the cheap tablets we bought or two bags of a fresh tablets. So using these two items is way cheaper, arguably more organic, and it will work really well. So let's go ahead and dump this in and start a wash cycle to show you exactly what this does with no BS attached. I'm just going to record this and show you the results. To start, we are putting approximately one cup of the citric acid into the wash tub. Normally, you'd want to do maybe half this if you were using citric acid often, which is great to do, but since this washer's in pretty bad shape, we're doubling the recipe, and sometimes we do even more. We're also adding roughly one quarter cup of the off-brand OxyClean as well. From here, we are going to run a normal wash cycle on the unit. However, this is an older unit, so the wash times are much faster than new high-efficiency washers, which is not actually good because it's better Better if you can let this mixture sit and run for a longer period of time to eat the garbage out better. This is what your washer really looks like during agitation. The citric acid is mixing with the water and it looks like it's lightening up the drum. However, there are some areas that we can see that it may not clean, which is at the very top and extreme bottom of the washing cabinet. One way to solve this would be to put the citric acid in and fill the unit slightly and let it soak to get rid of the debris on the bottom. This is a strategy that we use on the absolute worst washers that we deal with and it works great. This is what it now looks like after the first quick wash with the citric acid. It's definitely lightened the tub up a few shades all over, but it was an absolute goof nugget that didn't think about getting the best external view of the machine before we did the wash for a perfect comparison. Overall, this helped a bit, but it wasn't perfect due to the extremely short wash cycle on this old washer, which I regret doing. Every unit will respond to this test differently. The reason I did it was that I had such great success on it with many other units. So I think that it's definitely worth it for your unit, but the first wash results may vary. Also understand that some of the garbage may need cleaned out by hand once it's all over because we had to hand wash some nasty cabrio unit that we did after we shot this main video. For one final comparison though, I'm going to take the tub out yet again so we can look at the washing machine from the inside out and see how well it lightened up the unit. At this point, I got a bit better at taking the tub out, so it only took me a grand total of about three minutes to get the tub ring, agitator, and tub fully out of the unit. Now, if I was using a newer machine, it would be much longer to get this far, which is why I decided to do this experiment and test on a unit that's about 15 years old. Here are the two videos I took side by side before and after. I'm not really the best at video editing, so the angles aren't the most fantastic and I apologize as it's something that I do need to get better at. Nevertheless, the tub lightened up a few shades in what amounted really to an 8 or 10 minute wash. Hindsight being 2020, I should have probably put more citric acid in due to how many gallons of water this older unit used, which is about 30 gallons, as the newer HE machines were in much better shape after putting just one cup in, so you may want to double that recipe. Of course, if you really want to clean an old washer, you can simply use old-fashioned elbow grease to do truly the best job. This isn't practical for most people in situations, but since I already had the tub out to show you how the citric acid work, I may as well give the customer that buys this an even cleaner washer than what we had hoped for by physically scrubbing the dirt away. In this case, I'm simply using a scrub brush, which will remove practically any of the dirt and grime in quick order. If the tub is in this unit and I don't want to take it out or can't, we sometimes will take a condenser brush and use it to scrub the unit in between the inner and outer tubs too. But again, frequent use of citric acid will ensure that you never have to do something like this, which is extreme. Companies like Samsung and Whirlpool usually suggest that you use a washer tablet once a month on a washer cleaning cycle. But if you've never known to do that, you definitely want to consider a larger dose, like two cups of citric acid, which we kind of learned in hindsight through this video. So there we go, guys. This washer is now cleaner on the inside than it's been probably since it's left the factory, which given the age of the Kenmore is probably 20 years ago. So <laughs> this thing is incredibly old. It had a lot of buildup in it. We used the citric acid and the 
generic OxyClean to clean, I would say, a pretty decent job on the inside of it. It clearly wasn't perfect. It, it only got up to a certain level on the washer. But do understand, we didn't have clothes in it. We didn't have anything special effects-wise. I just put maybe a cup in it to run it, and it did clean it out pretty well. If you wanted to use it regularly, it would strip out most of everything. And again, it's a 20-year-old washer. It's not going to get clean immediately unless you do what I did in the video with actually scrubbing it out, which worked really well. But you're not always going to be able to do that, and it's very difficult, which is why citric acid, I think, works really well. But this is cheap. It's organic. It's easy. It works really well. I ran out of this during the filming, so I couldn't put more in just because we use it so much. And I'm super happy with how it works. And of course, there are the other competitors out there that have, you know, the tabs or whatever. And those, I'm sure, work just as good. And the challenge is they work just as good for a lot more money. And this, I think, is a good solution for most homeowners. Just, you know, drop half a cup or a cup maybe every two weeks or a month and a, a, pound, a 20 pound bag like this is gonna last you years. So I hope this helps you clean your washes out so it gets rid of mold and all kinds of stuff. It definitely works in front loaders.